welcome back problem 6-8 so statement is that uh, express the internal shear and movement in term of x and then draw the shear movement and movement diagram for the beam so you can see this is a simply supported beam a b that is having uniformly distributed load of 400 pound per feet over a length of six feet and at six feet length there is a point load of 900 pound so you have to find the uh, shear force and bending movement in term of x basically these are the equations and then you have to draw the shear and movement diagram so let's start with the solution the first step is that if you remove this support at point a so definitely you will be having a reaction force which is r a and if you remove this roller support so you will be having a reaction force which is r b and if this uniformly distributed load is converted into a point load so it will be equal to 400 multiplied by this length which is 6 feet and it will be acting at a distance of 3 feet from this end now we will apply equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is due to this 400 into 6 load and the perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is 900 into perpendicular distance is 6 feet and this is also producing clockwise so it will be negative the third moment will be rb into perpendicular distance is 9 and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive and their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write ra uh, sorry not ra first moment is 400 into 6 perpendicular distance is 3 and this is clockwise minus 900 into perpendicular distance is 6 plus rb into 9 is equal to zero so you can see this will give you minus 7200 this will give you minus 5400 plus 9 rb is equal to zero and this 9 rb will be equal to 12600 pounds and divide 9 on both sides so you will get rb is equal to 400 pounds so this is rb now we will move toward finding r a so for that we will write equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so r a is upward so r a minus 2400 minus 900 plus r b is equal to zero so i will write r a minus 2400 minus uh, 900 plus rb which is 1400 is equal to zero so you will get ra is equal to 1900 pounds now you have both ra and rb so first what we will do is that we will cut the beam over a distance of x so let we if we cut the beam over here and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this at this end we have r a which is equal to 1900 pound clear and this distance where we have cut the beam is x when you cut it at this end you will be having a shear force and you will be having a reaction moment and there is a distributed load of 400 pounds per feet so what if we convert it into point load so it will be 400 into the length which is x and that will be acting at a distance of x by 2 from either side let this is your point number one now you can find uh, this uh, movement and shear force by using equilibrium condition that sum of all uh, movement about point one is equal to zero so you can see that about point one one moment is this moment which is reaction moment and that is counterclockwise it will be positive the second moment will be 400 into x and perpendicular distance is x by 2 it will be also positive because of counterclockwise and third moment is 1900 
and perpendicular distance is this x and this will be clockwise so it will be negative so i will write um, minus r a into x plus 400 into x and perpendicular distance is x by 2 plus m is equal to 0 so r a is 1900 so 1900 x plus 200 x square plus m is equal to 0 so movement will be equal to 1900 minus 200 x square and the unit will be in uh, pounds into feet so this is your movement equation for uh, this is i will write it for x is greater or equal to zero and less or equal to uh, six feet you can check this x is for six feet clear and we are using uh, shear and movement functions we are getting now we will apply another equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so 1900 minus 14 400x minus v is equal to zero so 1900 minus 400x minus v is equal to zero so from here you will get v is equal to 1900 minus 400x and the unit will be in pounds and this is the shear force equation for range x is greater than zero and less or equal to six so let this is your equation number one this is your equation number two now we will cut the beam over here let this is your distance where you cut the beam is x so this remaining distance will be equal to nine minus x so we will draw the free bar diagram so the free body diagram will be like this one so at this end you will be having uh, rb which is 1400 pound rb this distance is 9 minus x and when you cut it you will be having a shear force v and you will be having a reaction moment m let the, this is point two so now we will apply uh, for x is greater than six and less or equal to nine so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and what force is taken as positive so v my v plus v plus 1400 is equal to zero so from here you can get v is equal to minus 1400 pounds so it means that our assumed direction v which we have taken upward is wrong it should be downward and v for x is greater than six and less are equal to its constant value and that is minus 1400 let this is your equation number three now we'll move toward a moment so sum of all moment about point two is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point two one moment is m which is clockwise so minus m and minus m and that this moment 1400 into perpendicular distance is 9 minus x producing clock counterclockwise so it will be positive their sum must be equal to zero so minus m plus um, 1200 1600 minus 1400x is equal to zero so m will be equal to 1400 this is plus value this is minus so m will be equal to 12600 it will be minus 1400 x plus one two six double zero so again if you take 1400 as common so it will be equal to minus x plus nine and if we rearrange it so moment will be equal to 1400 into x minus uh, nine minus x 
and the unit will be in pounds into feet and let this is your equation number four that is for movement under the range of x is greater or equal to six and less or equal to nine now you have all the equation number one two three and four so you can easily draw the shear force diagram so for that i will draw two vertical lines from the end of the beam clear so first make it is equal on this we take the length that is x in feet here you have a length of six feet clear and total here is nine feet here you are going to take shear force that will be in pounds okay so let each division is of a uh, hundred 1000 pounds so this will be 2000 this will be minus 1000 this will be minus 2000 pound okay so if you look at equation number one i will i will copy this equation so that you can easily get these are equation number one and two i will copy them and bring it downward and you can see third and fourth equation okay so what we will do is that for x is equal to zero what we will do put in equation one equation one so this is equation one when you put x is equal to zero so you will get v is equal to 1900 so you can check that equation you will get 1900 so 1900 is let this point is 1900 now for x is equal to x is equal to six feet so when you put x is equal to six feet so four into six uh, is 2400 so minus 2400 plus 1900 will give you minus 500 so v will be equal to minus 500 so at this point you will be having v is minus 500 so it will be this one minus 500 and you can see that there is a load of 900 which is minus so minus 500 minus 900 will be equal to minus 1400 so shear force will change to minus 1400 so it will change to this that this is minus 1400 and there is no other force so it will remain horizontal so let's draw the shear force diagram for this area x is for this area you can see that shear force is constant that is minus 1400 so it will remain horizontal okay now you can check that this is the first point and this is the second this uniformly distributed load is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing it will uh, sorry it will connect it to this point so i will join these two points and then due to 900 load it will go downward and at the end you have rb which is plus 1400 so it will go upward so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will draw a horizontal line that x will be in feet this here movement you will be pounds into feet let each division is of 1000 2 3 4 so this is 4000 this is 3000 this is 2000 this is 1000 pound into feet now what we will do is that this is equation number uh, one two so for x is equal to for x is equal to zero put into into so when you put x is equal to zero you will get uh, x is equal to zero you will get let me check it 
okay this is you can see this is 1900x so put this 1900x over here so for x is equal to 0 movement will be equal to 0 so your first point at x is equal to 0 movement will be 0 for x is equal to 6 feet 6 feet clear put in equation 2 you will get movement will be equal to 1400 you can just put the value of x is in 6 in this so 4200 so 4200 will be somewhere here at a length of x 6 feet this is 4200 and for x is equal to 9 feet put in equation 4 because equation 4 is valid for x is greater than 6 and less than 9 so if you put x is equal to 9 over here so you will get moment is equal to 0 so this will be the point now area you can see that this is shear force is a 1 degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and its slope it will be in clockwise direction it will be like this and this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing so so this is the bending moment uh, diagram for this loading and this is shear force diagram and that was all about problem 6-8 I have explained it thoroughly. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about any latest video which I post. If you, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.